From The Prestige to The Dark Knight to Inception to Interstellar, writer-director Christopher Nolan has managed to inspire and intrigue throughout his career. His latest film has him tackling land, sea, and air to tell the story of Dunkirk. I wanted to tell a story with an intense subjectivity. Uh, Dunkirk is a survival story. It's the story of 400,000 men trapped on a beach with the enemy closing in on all sides and a desperate race against time to get these guys back home. I wanted to put the audience on the beach with these guys. I wanted to put the audience in the cockpit of Spitfire and I wanted to put them on the decks of a small boat. Over the course of the film, as these stories sort of braid together, you get a more coherent picture of the larger events of, of Dunkirk. We have to go to Dunkirk. Ready on the stern line. What are you doing? You know where we're going. Into war, George. I'll be useful, sir. Filming in the real location seemed like the best way to get close to the truth of what the historical event was like. I mean, when you walk that beach, you feel the history there and you feel the pull of the place. To be able to restage these events with respect to historical accuracy uh, felt like an important part of uh, what we were trying to do. 